Hey guys, good morning. I really feel like reading because I got really into the book and I don't know what's going to happen. I am so happy! So, in the next 10 years, we're going to manifest all of this and we're going to get it done. July the what? Holiday hoobie what? A warrior doesn't worry about what it cannot control. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is very overexposed. <laughs> it is Friday today, and um, I had breakfast. I had a uh, tamal, and it was delicious, delicious. And now I'm just finishing up editing the vlog and uploading it. My voice has <coughs> it. I don't know, I woke up like this. Um, but I'm gonna um, finish editing this and carry on with the day. I didn't wake up as early today, but it's fine. I needed that sleep. I really feel like reading because I got really into the book and I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I am, I'm like over halfway now and I was just like, ah! So then I'm gonna have to, I keep on looking for the Amazon book, like, I mean, well, the book on Amazon. And it showed up once and I didn't buy it then because I was like, no, I'm not even halfway through it. I shouldn't even buy it. And now that I want to buy it, it's not even available on Amazon anymore. So I'm just like, <laughs> I can't get it in English anyway. So I'm gonna have to buy it on iBooks, which isn't ideal because I like holding the books and I already have one of them. So I just, I, it's fun. So yeah, great. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna do this and oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I need to do a bunch of stuff today. I know I need to film, I need to edit, I need to, yeah, I need to, there's a lot, because I didn't do anything Tuesday and Wednesday. <sighs> this is what happens. I hate when I do this to myself. But this week has been better. It has been better. I am so happy, because um, the more I plan this Greece trip, and I'm saying it in the vlog here, watch me, like I'm so happy. <laughs> Watch this. Watch me be stuck in quarantine and be able to save for Greece trip next year. We're gonna do this. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Everything. Every single penny. I'm gonna try to put it for this because I'm so excited. You know, six months locked in quarantine. We're good. We're all right. Yeah, okay. But watch next year. Who said we couldn't get through this? We did, bitch. We did. We did. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. Like, the more I see the travel vlogs, the more I'm like, yeah, and I want to get a drone and take these shoot. <laughs> Do you even know what excitement is at this point? Because for the longest time, I'm just like, nah, nothing's gonna happen. I'm just like, like not looking forward to anything. Honestly, I feel like trips next year are the only things motivating me enough to be like super excited for this. Because I just can't wait to book the first bit of a hotel. And just be like, okay, we're good. Well, hotel and flight, obviously. So, ah! <laughs> I'm actually so excited. I can't wait. And I'm like, I'm so excited. I'm like, even looking at outfits I want to buy and like putting them in my basket. Like, it's just, things are becoming very real and solid for this trip. That even like, anything that might go wrong throughout this year. And that, like I may be, I, I'll come later for the school. Now, I might not get into like you know the university, or I might not save up enough money, and I'm gonna have to wait another year. I don't care. The only thing I'm looking forward to is this trip now. Like everything's gonna be fine. The trip will still be there, and I will be able to continue saving or working or doing whatever I need to do to get to where I want to be. But it's gonna happen sooner or rather later. That just watch me in the next year, maximum two. I'm going to be doing everything that I've been dreaming to do. I'm manifesting. I'm putting it out in the universe. I'm doing it. Like, I don't care what comes in my way. It will move aside and make way for what I want to come. I want to travel. I want to go to the UK, go to the uni. I'm going to get into the uni and study cosmetic science. I'm going to get in. I'm going to study. I'm going to work hard for it. I'm going to work. I'm going to save. I'm going to have my flat where it's like... My friends, obviously, so it's more cheap and we can save more money. But I'm going to be able to do all of this, okay? We're going to be able to do it. I don't care what happens. It'll happen. It will happen. 
I am just so motivated and like like the drive right now is insane. So anything that comes in my way, I'll be like, no, move. I have somewhere to go. Nothing can like you know phase me right now. The most things that could phase me at this point would be clothes for the trip. <laughs> but still, like I just can't wait to get my butt working and save up as much money as I can and be able to work half time and then full time during the summers and you know. Yeah, I'm so excited for everything because even though like the first six months of this year were complete and utter shit and I went through a really deep dark and horrible time and I'm still trying to get like over everything and like you know you know when you're like drowning and you're still like taking all the water out and you're choking and everything's in your lungs and you're still trying to like you know breathe I'm currently trying to like you know calm my breathing down and like you know wrap myself around in a towel i'm not fully out of the shock of this yet but i don't know why i compared it to drowning I'm not trying to be insensitive but that's the only thing that came to my mind oh it's a sneeze but yeah i just i cannot even wait for anything like right now yeah i need to buy makeup i want makeup sure whatever i don't care like i will get this done one way or another and then soon we can make way for even more things because i'm i'm excited because i'm thinking like, in my goals, I think I might even attempt. I don't know if it, it'll work or it, it, I'll be able to do it or if anything gets in the way um, of me being in the UK and then doing this. But when I get into the uni, when I'm in there and when I have to take the placement right before I, gra like, you know, after I've done the three years and before I do my master's, I am thinking of going one year to Paris to, like, you know, do a placement there and hopefully with some beauty company and, like, I'm manifesting it, I'm saying it this right now. It is July, 2.33 p.m. July the what? Uh, holiday who be what? July the 10th on a Friday. And I'm saying, it's like, I'm going to get into the uni. I'm going to do everything I need to do. Everything's going to get accomplished. One way or, the no or another, we're going to do this. I don't care how. I don't care why. Well, I do care why. This is why I want to do it. But I don't care how. We're going to do it. <laughs> so, I'm just saying that, like, maybe, hopefully, a beauty company, whether that's skincare or makeup or hair care even, I don't know. I'll have the opportunity to work for them or like as a placement and like obviously work and like you know be an intern type of thing and maybe like after I finish my masters I'll have secured a place there and like I'll study like you know fully be free and like be independent and start saving what I want to do and like the beauty company that I want to have like my name and these products and I'm just so excited for everything to come. I know I'm only 22 and I'm and like for obviously older adults i'm a baby but it's a good thing being a baby and having this much drive and determination and things that you want to do and accomplish in the next 10 years like 10 years it seems like a lifetime away but 10 years ago i didn't know i'd be where i was today or where i am today that wasn't english yeah so in the next 10 years we're gonna manifest all of this and we're gonna get it done i'm not expecting to have everything done in two years but it's going to happen it will happen and if you're feeling that you know you just <laughs> you've left it already and you're like okay stop ranting but if you're feeling like you have nothing to look forward to if you're feeling that you know you want to do with your life so many things and you're sick and tired of being like you know stuck in quarantine or like this situation i'm just like stop for a second breathe and just think not overthink, don't, I mean, if it happens, we'll, we'll, we'll get through it and, you know, cope. But think about the things that you could do, okay? Don't focus on the things that you cannot do. I am sick and tired of, like, my anxiety letting it come over me and making me cry at night and making me have panic attacks and, like, you know, linking itself, linking arms with the depression and being like, hey, bitch, we're here to stay. You are not, you're getting out of my head. This is not happening. A worry does not worry about what it can control. Can or can't control. Actually can't control. Mess that quote up. Here we go again, okay. A warrior can. <laughs> a warrior doesn't worry about what it cannot control, okay? We're gonna grab our pants, our ovaries, our balls, whatever you have or don't have. We're not discriminating here. And we're going to do this, you know? This is actually going to happen. And I I am saying it because I will make it happen. I don't care what comes into my way. I don't care who criticizes or who hates or who trolls 
or who bullies or who guilt trips me. I don't give a shit. This is my lifelong dream and I will accomplish it. I am sick and tired of being too considerate of people that like don't really care about what I care about and what's in my best interest. I don't know what happened to my mercy. But we're gonna do it and we're gonna focus and we're gonna stop overthinking about things that we can't control and things that we can't what can you do right now yes i'm stuck in the middle of everything and i could be spending all my money in like you know retail therapy or like you know <laughs> soaking my what was not soaking it's called um what's it called dunking my head under the sand and just pretending the problems aren't there or i could just you know be like drowning myself in food but any any coping mechanism I get like what people are going through and things is a whole progress but I'm sick and tired of doing it to myself obviously you do the things that you want to do to cope but I'm sick and tired of doing this to myself and the only thing that I can control right now is yes I'm in lockdown and yes I'm not doing anything what can you do save money save money for what you want to do I'm sick and tired I'm done this is it this is where we draw a line do you see this arm drawing the line we're gonna accomplish our goals whether we think we can't do it or not. Okay. We can do this. And I'm trying to be super motivational on this Friday, on this 10th of July, because, you know, bad news happen and things are gonna, gonna, not going to go our way all the time, but we need to figure out a way of how to go around it and have our plans B, C's, D's, all the way to Z and figure out how this is going to happen. Which, by the way, reminds me, I cannot wait to get tattooed and that, that like, a warrior does not worry about what it can't control. That is going to become a tattoo of mine because it's the only thing getting me through this and giving me this much drive. So, yeah. Here's your motivational rant that you probably didn't really want to hear but you ended up hearing anyway and you're still here. Thank you so much for still listening to this motivational rant thing going on. But, yeah, I just... I'm sick and tired of people going like, you know, trying to worry the crap out of me. Trying to stress the crap out of me. And... I'm done. I'm just done. I'm done with everything. I'm, I'm not willing to listen to it. I will get things done when they need to be done. If they can't be done at that moment, we figure something out, but it's fine. I'm not going to fuss around it too much. I'm tired. My brain is tired from being overworked. And my brain's also tired from feeling tired. Do you know? So, we're going to do this. If you feel related to this thing, where you feel like you're rushing or you're wasting time, or you feel like you don't have enough time, or you're getting older, or you're missing your, like, you know your deadline or something in life or that you set or that society set for you it's fine you will not die okay you you will work every single day towards your goal and even though it seems like little grains of sand imagine a whole hourglass and how much grains of sand that has or imagine a beach every single day of the work that you put into everything will it pay off in the end okay so thank you for my motivational rant Rent over. I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm starving. My food's arrived. I mean, it's 5, uh, what is it? 5.42 p.m. And I'm having kind of like an early dinner, very late lunch because I'm starving. And I ordered onion rings, cheese. I think this has basil or something. I'm not sure. And mayo. I'm not sure. Might be spicy. Okay. And some cheeseburger with Doritos, chips, and deliciousness. Someone here is just begging for the food. Look, Monty. <laughs> I don't give you any. I half finished my burger and chips. I did finish like all the onion rings and everything, but and I just got a bit full halfway through. Like I have half of the burger left and a bunch of chips, but I don't know why I'm like I feel like I'm just starting to feel a bit sick. <laughs> uh, I think my stomach hasn't been like it's been upset for a few days no i think since yesterday or maybe even wednesday i'm not sure but it's friday so it's been a minute like i don't know whatever i eat it just kind of like sits very heavily no matter what it is whether it's porridge a juice fruit anything so yeah hey guys um the thingy the burger with everything that i ate it kind of really upset my stomach it's also probably because i don't like since i've come here I don't think I've eaten beef for uh, like a while, only when I order a burger and as a takeaway and now that's been a handful of times. Um, that might have also affected it but I think it's something, it might be like the cheese that they use or something they might have might sat really like you know 
I don't know, it, it might have been a bit much for me. Um, I don't know. Sometimes this happens to me. I can't have takeaway or junk food because it's way too much for my like stomach to process. My mm, my digestive system is very icky and icky and itty and just just it's picky. And there's a lot of stuff I can't like really digest properly, or it just gives me stomach aches. Um, it upsets my stomach and stuff like that. So. So I've made myself like, I, it was so like, I don't know if you've ever felt like that icky feeling after e eating something and you're just like, get it off of me, like the taste, the aftertaste or everything like that. It's just, it keeps on upsetting your stomach and you kind of feel like you're going to be sick. Yeah, so, um, because that's upset my stomach, I kind of just brushed my teeth and took that sensation off. I've had, I finished like the drink that I had, the Coke, the sugar-free Coke. And I had like one of those emergency vitamin C packets and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what else it has. Just to kind of boost my immune system because I don't know if I'm going to like, you know, fall sick. And on top of it, I have hay fever. I haven't gone outside anywhere to like, you know, I haven't touched anything. I'm very like picky right now. So I really don't want to be getting sick or getting corona um, as I'm trying to like, you know, apply. Or in general, like, it's just not a convenient. So... Um, I've had that and also because my hay fever is just acting up like this is hay fever season like like tree pollen season and that's the kind of pollen that I'm very much allergic to like extremely allergic to tree pollen and a specific strain I'm just like if you get it near me I will start dying I thought I'd put a little bit of hyaluronic acid um, pomegranate and hydrating serum <laughs> And yeah, putting this on now. I'm, I'm just so tired right now. And my skin's looking a bit okay, you know. It's not too upset. I don't I don't feel like I have like, you know, really big blackheads or anything like that. Texture is reduced and I'm not getting a lot of breakouts currently. And the nose one's already gone because you know, if you put SPF on every single day it does its thing like it does wonders for the skin i had no idea that it could heal breakouts that quickly like quicker than anything i've ever seen obviously i'm also using like you know the la roche posay effacor do that has um salicylic acid and the other thing um i think it's vitamin b niacinamide am i pronouncing it wrong i need to be able to pronounce that if i'm gonna be studying cosmetic science <laughs> so yeah the juice this is a bit icky at first i remember the first time i ever used sheet masks and the first time like i took it out i thought it was like so gooey and the sensation was so odd like i kind of hated it at the beginning but ever since i felt my skin after using them i loved it so i need to This is the mouse, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> and that's how it goes, okay, okie dokie. Oh. Massaging this into your skin is honestly, I always put it on my neck. Oh, and just so you know, <laughs> it's so scary, I look like a cast for the ghost or something. Um, I did wash my face, like when I brush my teeth, I wash my face so I could put the mask on, and after this, I'll put my night skincare, which essentially is my everyday skincare routine, morning and night. Just I don't put the SP off on at night. A uh, really big tick, tick tip that I have with these sheet masks is that put them all, put all of these sheet masks even your like eye um masks put them in the fridge so they're cool and they're really refreshing when you put them on your skin especially the eye ones because if you want to put them in the morning and like depuff your eyes your under eyes it really feels so much better and i would 100 percent recommend i just put the remainder kind of like on my hands 
putting these back on. You can see now. And um, there's still like a bit of the serum over here. I do say that after I take the sheet mask off and then put this all over my skin so it super hydrates it. Super hydrating. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and drink my peppermint tea to hopefully soothe my upset stomach. It's Friday, this is my Friday night for you guys. We are healthy, we are motivated, we are taking care of ourselves. it's been a minute and I went to watch a little bit of the and I actually played um what they called Merging Dragons or something on my phone like I really enjoy playing that game it's a bit therapeutic if I'm being honest and I was just laying there for a bit but I had my peppermint tea and it kind of like didn't make a difference like I mean it's warming up I guess um, but one thing's for sure, I feel like I'm definitely going to be sick at some point, like, <laughs> it might be TMI, but I'm trying to keep calm and keep in mind that I'm not going to be sick. At the same time, I'm starving, like, I feel like I'm so hungry. It's 1.13am. I'm so hungry, it's ridiculous, like, my stomach is rumbling so bad, but because I feel so nauseous that I feel like I'm going to be sick. Like, anything I eat is gonna make me want to vomit. So, yeah, I just started craving raspberries a lot. So, put myself a bowl here of raspberries, and the smell is making me go insane. Like, it smells so good, but I feel like it's not a good idea for me to have raspberries right now. There's a chance I make it up in the middle of the night and vomit. But I'm so hungry, I need to be in my stomach. I played myself, you guys. Friday night and I've played myself and obviously I took the sheet mask off and my skin's so glowy. I haven't put like moisturizer or anything on. I'm very sleepy and the nausea won't go away. I'm just gonna try to go to bed. Hopefully I don't want um pray that I'm okay. And then I'll have food poisoning or something. Ugh Lord. I just I'm like Anyway, I'm going to try to get some sleep, um, because I'm very tired and I want to wake up early and, like, you know, do my stuff, but it's looking like I might not really work out. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. And I have a bunch of videos coming. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.